Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. And I just got a message the moment I start an episode, but thankfully I have my Skype set to do not disturb now. Wait, did I? Do I? Oh, no, I don't apparently. Okay, let's fix that. Alright. So, anyways, in the last episode, we were actually kind of struggling on All Your Brains Are Belong to Us, which is a... Uh... Continue since we didn't really do anything. So yeah, we were actually struggling with struggling with this particular level and I couldn't quite figure out how to get past it. So we're just gonna have to play it by ear and see how things work out. Obviously we're probably gonna have a lot of failed, you know, takes of this, but oh well, it'll it'll be worth it. You know, since we complete this. And crap, still got this guy, and it's not good. Here, let's do this. So, we'll get our cone head out. He will take care of that. He will take care of this first pea shooter at least. Or he won't. Or he'll just die like that. Great. Just great. Okay, well, we'll have to figure something else out. Oh, man. I just, I really, really don't like this. Yeah. See, we're not gonna... Man, this is, yeah, this is... This, this minigame is a lot harder than I remember it being, to be honest. Like, I, I really don't even remember ever beating this minigame, actually. Like, I, I never... Like, I don't know how I... How did I do this level? Like, because I have a file where I beat every level of this minigame. So, how did I do that exactly? Um... Let's, uh... Here, let's just start by doing this. But of course, we still got the three Peter. Oh my God, really? Still got these annoying three Peters to worry about. Oh my God, can't believe this. All right, well there's that. So that will at least take care of this row. That's fine with me. Okay, there's that. So that takes care of that first. Oh my god, are you serious? Do we have to waste that so much sun just to get through one level? I mean, come on, like, the imp- the- Oh my god. I cannot believe this, guys. Like, I seriously cannot believe this. Like, how much I'm struggling with this one level that I just want to get past. Okay, there we go. That clears one row. But we still got other problems to deal with, you know? Like, uh... Is- is the ladder gonna get on automatically, you know, taken away by the stupid magnet room down here, you know? You know, stuff like that to worry about. I mean, there's also... I mean, come on, we, like, we don't have that much, you know, sun to work with here, and... I mean, like, really? Okay, let's, um, let's try... Okay, first things first, we'll, we'll use this guy to get get all the sunflowers. And we also have that as a problem, but still, I guess it's not enough to take care of these guys. Okay, so now on to what I was going to talk about. I have a nit to pick today, you know? Like, I seriously have something that I need to, like, share. Because this is becoming, like, a... This is something that I've been, been noticing for a while. And lately, it's become more and more obvious. And that is that Plants vs. Zombies, the game I'm LPing is a really tough game to commentate over. Like, it literally is. Like, there's no... There, like, I've had, I had trouble when I was commentating through, um... What was it? Uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab? Because the characters would, like, always, like, interrupt me. Like, whenever I'm trying to, you know, explain something. Because cause they talk constantly. Like, they never stop talking. You know, once they do, it's only, like, for a few seconds. So, that made that game tough to LP. And, you know, on top of that, there was also, like, just, like, so much stuff to commentate over. But in this game, it's, it's, it's like a, it's, like, diff difficult in a different way. Like, it's hard to, okay, next thing, okay, next thing we're gonna do is, oh boy. Okay, now we're gonna use these guys to get rid of, uh, this stupid maggot shroom that I'm really sick and tired of, so we're gonna deal with it now. So... Without further ado, we're finally getting rid of the stupid magnet room that's been causing us problems. All right, so now with the magnet room gone, we can actually get you know get get some progress done here. I mean, come on. I mean, problem is that we've been wasting so much sun, you know, just trying to get the stupid you know things. But whatever. Okay, 
there's that. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use this, uh... Hopefully this guy will be enough to, to get through this, this first row right here. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get an imp to get all the sun from this sunflower. While this guy's harvesting all the sun from this sunflower. And then, next thing we're gonna do is we're just going to spam imps on this area. And that will allow us to get to the end of this row. So that's this row taken care of, I think. I think. No, it's not! Because the stupid three-peaters! Oh my god, really? Oh, like, what was... How come the that last guy didn't get past the three-peater? Well, that's fine, whatever. We, we made it to the end of this row, okay. Or not! Cause the stupid star fruit! Oh, what are we gonna do now? Okay, so we can get rid of the star fruit like this, but Do we have enough sun to to deal with the rest of this? I don't think we do. I mean what can we do? I mean Okay. Don't you dare die. Okay? And don't you dare finish chewing through the- No, 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 okay, okay, e e thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. But I think we're still screwed. I mean, look, we got 50 sun, and these guys are still problems. I mean, like, what the heck? How are you supposed to do this? Okay, let's try this. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah we're screwed. We're done. Let's. Yeah, that's that's not gonna do it. Okay. Yeah, I just I have to, I just have to explain this. Plants vs Zombies is a really hard game hard game to LP. And I guess one of the other big problems is that you know in addition to this game being hard to LP over, it's like you know it's come at like one of the most you know stressful and you know hardest times of my life. You know like trying to. Prepare for college and, you know, high school graduation, getting a car, you know, just all the stuff that's been coming into play recently, and, you know, they just all had to happen during this, you know, this LP that's, you know, kind of tough to commentate over because you, here's the main reason why Plants vs. Zombie is so tough to commentate over. You have to, like, come up with your own things to talk about because what, you know, you can't just spend the entire time, you know, otherwise... Because otherwise you just you just end up spending the entire time talking about the game, you know, and what's going on. That's just not really all that interesting. I mean, plus, I mean, sure it is when you have to explain stuff, but you know, once you get done explaining stuff, the game does the talking, the commenting over itself for you. So you just have to come up with your own stuff to talk about. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do here. I seriously have no idea at all. I mean, like. What could I do? I mean, I mean, really. Let's see. Okay, first thing we do, get rid of this annoying magnet room. That's what. Sh oh wait. I am really dumb. I am really, really, really dumb. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, this is uh this is gonna be a wild ride, guys. I'm just I swear. I am literally at the end of my options here. I mean they really brought out the big stuff here. They really did. I mean, how are you supposed to get through this? I mean like it's really tough to figure it out. Oh my god. I just, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I mean, really, what can I do? Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Um, I actually kind of, like, stopped recording, you know, took a break, and, like, came back the next day. You know, and I also did some grinding off screen, too, because I saw there that I had uh, a lot more money. But anyways, that's not the point. Point is, I think I somewhat have an idea on how to do this. Like, I, I you, know, you know, I just kind of did some research, you know, while I was, while I was off, and... Although it did not help much, because really this is somewhat luck-based, because it kind of mixes the plants around, you know, each time you play this level, so there's really no way else to go about it besides starting with, um, dang, how far would this guy get? He wouldn't, he probably wouldn't get far enough to, well, let's see how this works. So he's gonna jump over, and he will probably at least be able to eat maybe one plant or two if he's lucky 
yeah, I probably only need yeah, just one plan. And maybe we can actually, like, oh boy. Yeah, because that stupid star fruit down there, it's going to be a problem, yeah. Okay, so this didn't work after all. I am just dumb, either that or I'm just not getting really good, really good luck with this. Alright, let's try again. God, I'm just, I'm just really, really sucking today. Okay, now let's do do this. This should work out, work out better because now the sun's like sunflowers are closer to him, and thus he can get to the sunflower much more efficiently. Please get there before you die. Well, he got somewhere. Okay, fine. All right, next let's get a let's get a football player here. You know, because I yeah. It's probably most efficient. I mean, like, we'll get, like, a, at least 150 sun out of this. So this will get a good start. And why did I forget that stupid... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just can't get this right. I seriously can't. Uh, but we can't give up yet. Let's, uh... Oh, my God. How can I forget that stupid... You know, there's always, like, this stuff that you have to keep keep into account before you put stuff down like I I keep on putting you know plants you know zombies down without thinking and I think that's my biggest problem here is that I'm just I'm not thinking before I do stuff so that's that's just causing problems right off the bat oh god all right well we got something there we got oh my god I am just so so frustrated with this I mean like why can't I get this right I seriously don't know. Like, I don't remember struggling with this much with the, you know, minigame before, and I failed. Oh, my God. Uh, so, we can't use the... Uh, obviously, we can't use the bungee zombie wrath of bath to get rid of that stupid magnet trim, but what else can we do? I mean, really. There's, really, like, nothing else I can think of. Um, let's do this. Let's get... Cause the, cause the, the, he won't get the bucket head, you know, if he's all the way up here, so let's start with this. Oh my god, I'm, just, I'm going crazy right now. So I'll give a sun, like 225. And the next thing we can do... Is get a... Uh, Conehead? Will Conehead? Yeah, Conehead will make it. Okay, so that'll, that'll take care of that. You know, at least he'll get that sun and then, you know, kill those potato mines. But next thing we gotta worry about is kill, get re, getting rid of this stupid magnet room. Because as soon as you get rid of the magnet room, that, that alleviates some stress. And, you know, among other things, you can also... Alright, let's, let's see what's next. Okay, next, if we... Uh, let's, uh... He won't get the... Let's, let's do a ladder zombie, because he won't get the ladder zombie... At least not up here. So we'll put that. You'll put that down, and then he can eat this sunflower. Give us some more sun. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll get a football player. Because again, I think as long as the zombies are in these top two rows, they're protected from the magnet room. So that takes care of this row, and then we'll just have to plan to, you know. We'll, we'll just have to have enough sun to plant three imps up here to, to get that brain. But I think, uh, hopefully alone, the football player can get this get this brain right here. I hope. And if not, he can at least get the sun. But I'm pretty sure we got this. I mean, like, he's got only one shot fired him at, at one time at this point. So I think this row is covered for now. So we got... The point is we got to start this. So that's that's making progress. I mean, because I don't think I've gone any farther any further than this. Well, actually, I did, but and you guys can obviously remember because it was in the same episode. But yeah. But oh my god, what the heck are we gonna do next? Well, let's get a bungee zombie and take care of this guy finally. It's this asshole, because this magnet room is really an asshole. It is. It, it's just it's, it's being that way. So it's gone. All right, so there's that. You know, if only these plants really were cardboard cutouts, like Crazy Dave said. Because if they were, you could win these mini games like ten seconds flat. I can definitely tell you that. And that's not. That's definitely not a pun towards them being cardboard cutouts, but whatever. All right. See, I just wasted twelve minutes, like already, like in the first recording. You know, trying to do this. And now, 
Plug and waste another 12 minutes, just finally succeeding at it. But it'll be worth it, because I think by then we'll finally have enough money for the, uh... For the tenth seed slot, which I've been holding off on getting like for so long, just because I wasted money, you know, just so I could, just so we could succeed at stuff. But that's fine. I guess that's that's one of the things it takes to be successful at this. All right, so I think with that we can now get a bucket head right here, and that might just be you know successful enough to get through this row. I hope. I certainly hope so. I mean, the starfruit, yeah, starfruit is not, you know, gonna be the level's, uh, winner here, so. Or is he? I mean, well, thankfully he's got two sunflowers right in front of him, and he's only got one shot being fired at once, so. This, uh, Peacher might just get him, like, just barely, maybe, but let's hope not. So the bucket stays on for at least a few. Okay, okay, maybe we'll, maybe we'll actually make it here, I think. I'm just, like, trying things out and hoping they work. Okay, okay, please eat the plant, please eat the plant, please eat the plant! Yes! I'm pretty sure we just barely got that brain. Okay, now for the next brain. What are we gonna get next? Okay, this... This right here seems pretty... You know, pretty, uh... Vulnerable, to say the least, because these guys are not really that powerful. So, and this guy is going to be useless once the zombie walks up to him. So what, we, what we're going to do is just, you know, let's just get a football player here. Heck. Actually, let's just get a bucket head. I mean, I think a bucket head can really can get through this row. No problems that. No questions asked. Or can he? I mean, I think he will. Uh, it's a pretty safe bet. I mean, like, he's only got two shots being fired at him at once. And he's still got, like, at least, like... Uh, one more phase of the bucket left, so I think we got that row covered. Now the next row we're gonna do is this one on top. This one is just, all we have to do is just place, you know, three amps and we'll get it. And meanwhile, the bucket down here will get us some more sun by eating through the sunflower. Okay, so there's that top rain taken care of, and there's this one as well. So, there we go, we only have one row left, just like that. But I think this row, this next one, is gonna rely entirely on imps, really, just imps. Is that okay? There, there you go. Now eat, 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 eat. You gotta finish this food. Okay, I just referenced SpongeBob. Uh, you know, oddly enough, I was a teenage Gary was actually one of the most hated episodes on hated hated on episodes from season one. And honestly, I don't see why myself. I honestly don't, you know, don't have any problems with the episode whenever I watch it. But, like, for some reason, like, it's the most... Out of all the episodes in Season 1, everyone loves Season 1 because, obviously, it's it was Spongebob in, its, in his gold age. But, you know, still, I, I just can't really see what's wrong with, with that episode. Like, I, I personally enjoy it when I watch it. I mean, sure, there are th some things that don't make any sense, but, you know, you get the idea. I mean, it's just be maybe it's just because I'm not really the best critic in the world. Okay, we are literally only $900 away from our goal here, you know, to get $10,000. And not only that, but we are officially done with Puzzle, ex except for me to show Base Breaker Endless and iZombie Endless. But you guys know what that's about. And I am $1,000 short, you know, from doing what we need to do. But once I do get that... All we have left is survival mode. And then obviously we have to go back into make games and do the last one. But still. Really, what can we do? Like, can we sell something? Obviously, no, we can't because we don't sell stuff. Huh. You know what? I'll just do this off-screen because we already have a long enough episode and you guys shouldn't have to sit through any more of me failing through stuff, okay? So, next time on Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Um, now, as you can see, I'm on World 4. So, if I get to 4-10, you know, before next episode, then I'll show you guys out the next achievement, because that's where the next achievement takes place, from what I've heard. And, from there, and, well, if not, then we'll just simply, then I should have enough money to buy the 10 uh, seats slot upgrade. And once I do, the next thing we're going to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the, uh, Step on last stand against your rich, and then we are finally gonna move on to survival mode. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching another episode of Let's Play Plants for Zombies and. Uh,
eye gap. I apologize about the fails and also the lack of updates lately, but you know, we're still, I'm just kind of getting through, you know, last, the last year, year of high school. So, you know, just bear with me, you know, trying to, you know, get stuff, get my, my life set up for after high school and so on, you know, cause I know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there understand that can, can be quite difficult cause you know, there's all stuff, there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.